Greetings friends, Ian from Eurogamer here, and I'm just about to play through the E3 demo of Far Cry 5. For E3, Chris and Eva played Far Cry 5. They played this demo, but they couldn't record the gameplay. Well, I am now in Ubisoft HQ, and I'm allowed to capture it, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. Now, at the beginning of this demo, you have to choose from three guns for hire. You've got Nick Rye, Grace Armstrong, and Boomer, who are... Uh, who should be called Colin, to be honest. Now, Nick Rye, he has uh, the ability to fly around in a plane and strafe any enemies around you. Grace Armstrong is a proficient sniper, and Boomer, I mean, I mean Colin, he is your faithful doggy friend who you can send off to attack people, just like you can with your animals in Far Cry Primal. Fall's End, population 38. It's gonna be less than 38 when I've finished with them. So first up, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to see if I'm going to see if Colin here will play fetch with my baseball bat. Fetch, Colin. Fetch. Fetch. All right, no, Colin doesn't want to fetch with the baseball bat. I can pet Colin though. There we go. He's a good boy. He's a good Colin. Good boy. Yeah. All right. So off we go. Let's go and liberate Eden Falls. Please keep the gate shut. We've already broken that rule. So yeah, this is the first time a Far Cry game has been set in America. All right, so we've got a lot of people down here, a lot of bad guys that have been, uh, I think they got marked by the dog there. I think the dog spots things and marks them, but you can also Get your camera up and mark people with your camera, like you can do in other Far Cry games. It's, it's, the way it controls and everything is very similar to other Far Cry games, of course. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try and take it as stealthily as possible for now. I'm going to try and get down here without alerting any bad guys. Get through this bus here. Nice. Pick up this armor. What I'm going to do is I'm going to aim at this dude here and I'm going to send the dog to get him because he's gone off on his own. So here we go. Dog. Dog attack. Now they're all shooting at Colin. But at the moment they still don't know where I am. It's starting to wise up to my position though. Colin's doing all the work. Colin's... Colin's a good boy. He is a good boy. I'm going to wait here, though. Oh. Okay, time to put my baseball back to good work. Good boy, Colin. He, see what Colin did there? He picked up that guy's gun and brought it back to me. What a good boy. Now, in this build, you don't have grenades. I'm not sure if you do get grenades in this build, in this game. But you definitely get, whoa, a big stick of dynamite. And the blast radius on the dynamite is insane. Now, I could have gone completely stealthy and not set Colin on anyone. Climbed through that church window there and snuck up around the back like that to get people. Have a grenade. I mean, a stick of dynamite. I mean, whatever it is, it's made short work of those guys. Go get him, Colin. My aim's not good enough. I'm gonna bring up my weapon wheel. Check out my silenced SMG. I think that's a sniper there. Let's send Colin to get the sniper. I'll try and flank round. Ow. Get in, Colin. Ooh. There we go, he's down. Sounds like there's a couple more people. There's one. Red barreled him, there we go. Got him with the red barrel and successfully liberated Fall's End. Alright, so with Falls End liberated, the, the locals can come back and give me some missions. Now, before I go into the Spread Eagle pub and take some missions, let's do a, let's have a quick 
look around the town of Fool's End. I presume you're going to be spending a lot of time in Fool's End exploring, uh, getting missions, and killing folk. So I just want to show you a couple of things that you can do when you're in Fool's End. Now, one of them is perhaps go and check out the testicle festival up there. It's, uh, it's funny because it rhymes and also because it's got the word testicle in it. If you really wanted, like, the, obviously the good thing about Far Cry games is you can take uh, any route you want when you're completing a mission. Now, I went around the side, sent the dog after the bad guys, but you could have climbed up this water tower and got a sniper rifle here, which would have allowed you to silently take out enemies from a distance with the sniper rifle. And then maybe, I don't know, zip line down here. Ooh. You can also go into most of the buildings and have a look around. Let's have a look in here. Look, they've got a, a fish on the wall. There's a keen fisherman here. I've just stolen some dynamite from his house. Let's have a let's check out his bedroom. He's got a silenced pistol in here. That's gonna be much better than the loud gun I've already got. Blasting cap. I think this fisherman's been fishing with dynamite. How's his how's his bathroom? Ooh, you can interact with the toilets. Nice. And there's also quite a few cars you can get into. I like the look of this one here, this sporty number. Again, driving cars is the same as previous Far Cries. You can shoot while you're driving. You can set the car to auto-drive by clicking L3. So you've got more control over your aiming. And you can change the radio stations, but we're not going to be we're not going to be spending much time in that car because there's an Optimus Prime truck there that is just begging, begging to be driven. But before I do that, let's pop into the Spread Eagle Pub and have a chat to Mary May Fairgrave. All right, so we've got to go and speak to Nick Rye. You might remember Nick Rye is the guy I mentioned at the start of this Let's Play. He's one of your guns for hire, and we're going to go to his airfield now, have a chat to him, and hopefully he'll let us have a fly of his, of his plane, which I think is a crop duster with, like, loads of weapons gaffer taped onto the side. So now we're in this... Uh, I should have... Do you know what? Let's get out and have a proper look at this truck, because it's pretty awesome. That is, uh, that is a pretty fantastic paint job. I don't know if you noticed, there's a little Far Cry 3 Easter egg in here. There it is, a little vast wahini. A little vast bobblehead. I still have my one of them on my shelf from my Far Cry 3 <laughs> special edition. What's going on here? We've got a rock with sloth written on it. Now there's a couple of these around. These are events where you have to rescue NPCs, civilians, from Eden's Gate. Good boy, Colin. If I rescue this NPC here, I should get some bonuses. Here we go. Hostage liberated. We've liberated the hostage. Didn't have time to rescue this poor dude, unfortunately. Now, Nick Rye's base is just up ahead. Let's get my camera out and survey the area. So there's a roadblock there, two roadblocks, and at least one bad guy. And it sounds like there's... Sounds like there's someone else. Yeah, we've got some more... We've got some more hostiles incoming. They haven't seen me yet. I've set one for Colin to attack, and I'm going to flank around and try and shoot this guy in the back of the head with my silenced pistol. There we go. Excellent silent takedown there. Zero problems with that one. Uh-oh. 
I think we've stirred up some trouble, though. Yeah. It's time for some more dynamite, I reckon. That's going to hit me. Ooh, excellent. Absolutely brutalized. They didn't stand a chance. Okay, the roadblock is still up ahead, though. They don't know I'm here yet. I'm going to send Colin over to get that guy. If you go, Colin. Go on. Good boy. Go get him, Colin. Excellent. And I'm going to switch up to... Did I have the sniper rifle? Where is it? There's the sniper rifle. To take out these chumps. There we go. Completely wiped them out. And they didn't even see me. Now you also get these icons. They're roadblock icons if you destroy the cars. You get extra points, and uh, looks like Colin got caught in the the splash damage there. But you can revive him; it's okay. Another roadblock here. I've got one more dynamite left, but I might save that dynamite. So I'm going to do something here, which I think is new to a Far Cry game. I can't remember doing this before. You can sabotage vehicles in this game to create distractions. So what I've done: sabotage that, set the engine block on fire. Now, if I retreat to a safe distance... Colin! Colin! Colin, no! Colin! Oh! Shit. I'm so sorry, dog. I did, I did warn you. Whoops. We should probably approach this next area stealthily anyway. Or as stealthily as possible. Oh, we all right? Looks like we're okay. Hey, Nick. Oh, no, here we go. We got some incoming. Let's red barrel them. Oh, nice. That was... That was text, textbook red barrel, barreling there. Seems like there's some more coming. There we go. Go get them, Colin. I'll get this one. These heaven gate cultists don't stand a chance against me and my dog. Good boy, Colin. Once they're dead, you can loot all the bodies for stuff. Has he got... Oh, his eyes still open. That's really creepy. <laughs> Gross. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. What? Oh, God, I got run over. Okay. This is, this is what I saved the dynamite for. Nice. Come back to me, Colin. He's downed. We can heal up again. Similar healing animations to previous Far Cry games. If you've played a Far Cry game before, you know... You know what to expect with most of the uh, most of the gameplay tactics. Got more coming in. Where's this one, mate? Colin's on. Colin is on the ball. He is going to get some Scooby snacks tonight. Now, before we go flying a plane, I want to show you another cool thing that you can do in Far Cry 5, and that is fishing. Now, this guy here, uh, he's, he's got... He's got... Um, to be honest, he's got the sweet fishing spot. I'm not sure... 
I'm not sure I want him stealing all my catches, so let's, <laughs> let's knock him in the water and try and catch us some fish before we go flying in the plane. Here we go, right. So fishing's kind of simple. Catching the fish is a little bit tricky, but what you do, you cast your line in, and then as you slowly reel it in, you should see a couple of fish going for the line like that, although I didn't cast my line out far enough. Let's really cast it out into the distance a bit and then start reeling it in. Now, we've got a bite, so I've pressed right trigger and that is now caught onto the fish. Now, with the left trigger, I can reel the line in and I can resist the pull of the fish with the right thumbstick. It took me... Oh, see, I snapped my line. It took me a, at least five goes before I successfully caught a fish. You can kind of hear the tension on the line. You know when your line's about to break, when it starts making a bit of a noise. But it's okay. That was a nice, easy one to catch. That was a bull trout. It was 4.7 pounds. I think my record catch is 5.2 pounds. Right, let's get in the plane. Take this baby for a spin. Flying the plane, slightly different controls to uh, drive in the cars. Uh, in this case, you have to accelerate with X, decelerate with circle, and R2 fires your machine gun. You can't fly too far out because this is a demo build, so there's like a border. But I presume in the final game, you'll be able to fly wherever you want. I did notice this when I was flying around earlier. I'm not sure if it is meant to be a crop circle or not, but it looks like a crop circle and there's some dead cows around it. So possible, possible UFO mission in there, who knows? But what that looked like a crop circle and there were some dead cows. So I think, I think there's some UFO cow mutilations going on. All right, so what we've got to do here is destroy Eden's Gate silos. They're pretty easy because, uh, as you'll see in a second, they're full of explosive materials. Boom. Flying's really simple to do. It's, it's very nice. It's, it's very easy. It's not like some games flying is a bit of a faff. can be a bit confusing, but... Uh, it's nice and easy, picked up really quickly. Aside from your machine guns, you've also got rockets. So let's try and take out this silo with some rockets. Boom. Nicely done. Yeah, you also might notice that there's a bomber view that you can use. Well, we're going to use that bomber view to take out this convoy. which is the next part of the mission. They're up on this road here. If I hold down L2, that switches to the bomber view. There's a, a roadblock there, which I could have taken out with my bombs as well. But here we go. Here's the convoy. Let's drop a bomb. And do you know what? I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> Let's go back round again. It's not like me to press the wrong buttons. OK, where's this convoy? Convoy's here. Bomb of you here, and drop a bomb. There we go. Nicely done. Here we go. So, like I was saying, we've got dogfights in the game. This is one of the chosen that I've got to fight now. To be honest, this guy's not very aggressive. I presume maybe they've turned the difficulty down for this demo, or that you'll, you know, you'll have varying levels of dogfights. But all you need to do, get on this guy's tail, pepper him with machine gun fire, and maybe send some rockets his way. And sooner or later, he will drop like a stone. Come on. I'm making this, I'm making this last. It's not my bad aim, honest. Have a rocket. There we go. And that's the demo completed. Completed with a bang. So there we go, that was a quick look at Far Cry 5, the E3 build. We got to see loads of stuff there, some stealth mechanics, some shooting, some fishing, some flying of planes. 
loads of stuff. Uh, I've got more videos about Far Cry 5 for you today, including a list of some stupid things I found you could do while I was playing this demo. So do check that out, it's on screen right now. And do like this video and subscribe to Eurogamer for plenty more Far Cry 5 coverage coming up very soon. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Goodbye.